Hi, I'm David Andine, Director of Reference Designs here at Maxim Integrated. Today, I'm here to tell you about IOLink. And joining me is Tim Leung, Senior Business Manager of IOLink Products here at Maxim Integrated. Tim, thanks for taking the time to join me today. Sure, it's my pleasure, Dave. So Tim, we're all hearing more and more about IOLink these days. And my group, in fact, has already introduced four IOLink sensor reference designs. Mm -hmm. Can you give us just a brief overview of exactly what IOLink is? Sure. So IOLink is a new, exciting sensor interface protocol that was developed cohesively amongst PLC manufacturers, sensor manufacturers, software providers, and also IC providers. There's really four key benefits to IOLink that's really propelling this technology to address the needs of Industry 4.0. That includes plug and play capability, integrated diagnostics, remote parameterization, and also the ability to be backwards compatible with previous binary type of input output sensors. Wow, it sounds like IOLink provides a foundation for smart sensors. Now Tim, you describe plug and play operation. And to me that means that the master and the sensor are already talking the same language. Is it that simple? Do you just plug in your sensor and off you go? That's what's cool about it. Yes, it is that simple. It's basically plug and play. You, uh, you install the IODD file, which is a IO device description file, into the master PLC side. And once you connect a IOLink sensor to IOLink master, communication immediately ensues. Now you have remote parameterization, calibration, a smart sensor interface. Exciting. Wow, that's so much easier than the old style industrial sensors that would communicate via voltage or current. I mean, those signals were valuable, but it took so long to configure those signals. And with remote parameterization and integrated diagnostics, I'm envisioning that a technician no longer needs to go to the factory floor to adjust or calibrate the sensor, and you're gonna save a lot of cost and reduce downtime. Now, Tim, you also mentioned direct upgrades from original binary I.O. sensors. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that a little bit more? Sure. So, I.O. Link runs on the same cabling that would be used for previous binary type of input-output sensors. So now you have the ability to do a direct upgrade on your factory floor and develop a smart sensor interface. This is a standard three-wire bus that has signal, power, and ground. So, Tim, speaking of cables, mm -hmm. my group developed this reference design, a 16-channel IO-Link digital input hub. Mm -hmm. And it seems to me that with the cost of cabling being expensive and only going up these days, that a customer would be able to save a lot of cabling costs by aggregating their 16 digital inputs here and just having one cable to communicate to and from the IO-Link master. Dave, you're right. But honestly, that's just the tip of the iceberg. IOLink opens up so many opportunities to have better efficiency, reduce operator costs, increase uptime. It's really exciting. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm liking it more and more. Mm -hmm. Now, one last question, Tim. We all know that the road of technology is littered with great ideas right. that never caught on. Right. What sort of momentum in the industry is there behind IOLink? The momentum is really great. And why we're so excited about it is that really all the key blocks, once again, are the PLC manufacturers, the sensor manufacturers, the software providers, the IC providers, are all part of a consortium to really drive the technology to be successful. And what we've seen worldwide is that there's been IOLink adoption on all major continents. And we're not only we are we excited, but also our customers are really excited. And we really feel it's going to address the Industry 4.0 and enable smart sensor interfaces. Absolutely. Well, Tim, thank you so much for taking the time to join me today and talk about IOLink. Mm -hmm. And thanks to you for watching this video in the lab and learning about IOLink. Please tune in to our next video where we'll go over the performance and functionality of our four IOLink sensor reference designs and our IOLink master reference design. In the meantime, please visit our website and go to the Reference Design Center where you can find a reference design that meets your needs.